If you want to focus on specific data in a list, you can use a filter. For simple things, you can use an auto filter. So on the data tab, select a cell in your list and click filter. And then you get drop down headings and you can select one or more items from that list and click OK. And there's your filtered result. For more complex things, you can use an advanced filter instead of an auto filter. For example, in this list, I've got an invoice amount and a paid amount. Usually they're the same when the invoice has been paid in full, but sometimes there's been a partial payment. I'd like to see all the items in the list where the invoice amount is not equal to the paid amount. And to do that, I'll use an advanced filter. I'll turn off the auto filter by clicking the filter button, and we're just back to a plain list now. For an auto filter, we have to create a criteria area, and that will require at least one heading cell and one criteria cell. I'll just put a border around those so we can see where they are. For the heading, if you're going to just type a criterion in here, you could put a heading cell that's an exact match for one of the table headings. So if I were looking for a specific customer, I could type customer here and then the name of a customer. But in this case, we're going to use a formula. So I can either put in a heading that's not found in the table or leave it blank. So it's easier to leave it blank and I'll do that. And in this cell, I'm going to put in a formula that will act as my criterion. I want to find any row where the invoice amount is not equal to the paid amount. So starting with an equal sign, I'll click on the first data row in the invoice column and then less than greater than, which means not equal to, and I'll click on the first paid row. So this will pull any record where invoice is not equal to paid. When I press enter, you can see it's testing the first row to see if invoice is not equal to paid. And in this case, that statement is false because the invoice is equal to the paid. To run the filter now, I'll just click somewhere in the table and on the data tab, click advanced. And I want to filter the list in place. It's automatically found my list range, but you could change that if necessary. And the criteria range is this two cell range, the blank heading and the criteria cell. I don't want just unique records. If there were two with the same date and other information, I'd want to see both of them. So I'll leave that unchecked and click OK. And here's my filtered list now showing each record where the invoice amount is not equal to paid. And it's also hidden row two where my criterion is, but that has no effect on the filter. And we can see that some of these row numbers are blue, so we know the list has been filtered. And to remove that filter now, I can click the clear button and the list goes back to showing all the items. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.